our next step it is about the refusal tendency so, so it is very easy to understand just for your uh, understanding because mostly people have very less concept about this refusal tendency that's why i am going to explain it so, so before i start explaining further let me tell you one thing we have developed a mix design where bitumen content is 3.5 percent and where our gmb value is 2.551 now here i would like to tell you one thing <clears throat> let us pause it when such mix is placed on site you see when such mix is placed on site like as i have shown over here etc now you see now this mixture is on site and uh, when it was developed here air whites percentage of air whites was taken as 6% keep to thing we have laid on the site and now the road is in service mean ke road is being used so here as the road is being used there is one very important point you know preliminary air wipe as i have told you it is a 6% during the service life road is being compacted the road is being further compacted as we say that the road is being compacted so that there is one assumption that this type of the compaction due to service is known as secondary compaction if air whites fall below 3% then premature failure known as rutting this is a premature failure because air wide has reduced to the 3% and this rutting is due to plastic deformation this i will explain it to you on the later stages plastic deformation but here we have to ensure that to ensure air wires is always greater than 3% due to service life one step is taken what is that step what step we are going to take in? go on compacting the marshal specimen beyond 75 blows when we go on compacting the master specimen bn 75 blows it can be 400 it can be 500 or it can be 600 
etc where further densification is not possible Mark this word. Further densification is not possible. So, so density measured at this refusal stage. is known as the refusal density with this refusal density we have to make sure our air wires at this density should always be greater than 3%. If air wires fall below 3% at refusal density, then make new design. We are measuring this refusal density and air wires to be three percent as a reference. reference point that if this condition is satisfied the road will complete its service life service life which may be 10 year or 15 year like this one so, so in other words I can tell you this 3% air wires 3% air wire this is our blows I will also draw a graph on the later stage so just for your introduction I have made this this 3% air wire is known as the threshold level that it cannot be violated so mark my last word, it cannot be violated. If your air wires are reducing the 3% air wire, so here we can make sure that our aggregates are not strong enough or our aggregate gradation is not proper. We will have to make the changes in the aggregate gradation blend and then we will have to change the source of the aggregate that our air wire should not be falling 3% at its refusal stage. So, so this 3% air wire either it is given a threshold level or it also be given the name known as the refusal condition. So, so thank you very much seeing this. I will go and continue explaining this in other coming videos also about the refusal density and what type of the test is performed about the refusal density. Thank you very much. Afternoon.